So here you see the Kirtland Temple. And this is a National Historic Landmark in Kirtland, Ohio. And it's right outside Cleveland. And it was built under the direction of Joseph Smith, who was the church founder and the president of the Mormons. Usually it's experienced today through tours, community services, and prearranged meetings for out-of-town groups that come here to see it. In January 1836, before the temple was completed, Joseph Smith saw the first of what he said were several visions, finally dedicated in March 1836. Kirtland in the 1830s became an early gathering place and headquarters of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which had been organized under divine inspiration by Joseph Smith in Western New York in 1830. Here the Mormons created a religious community and introduced doctrinal concepts, organizational programs, and social practices that have been central to the religion ever since. Joseph Smith lived in Ohio from 1831 to 1838, and during that time, there was a huge period of growth for the Mormon Church. March 1832, a group of about 50 anti-Mormon agitators dragged Joseph Smith from his home and tarred and feather him. But he was undaunted by this, but Mormons now were facing a greater assault in different places around the country where they had located, Missouri, for example. The Kirtland Temple, dedicated in 1836, was the spiritual center of the faith. Internal dissension and external persecution arose largely from the distinctive features of the religion and weakened the Mormon community in Kirtland. In 1838, the majority of the Mormons here followed Smith westward to Missouri, Illinois, and eventually in Utah. Algernon Sidney Gilbert and his longtime friend and business partner Newell Whitney operated a livery stable on this corner from 1829 to 1831. In response to mob violence in July 1833, Gilbert and others offered themselves as ransom if members of the mob would let the Latter-day Saints leave unmolested. In late fall, mobs ransacked the store and demolished homes in outlying communities. Gilbert died of cholera in June 1834 while caring for um, other Mormons who were stricken. So they had this store first, which included living quarters for the Whitney family. By 1827, he had moved his family to a new home into the larger store he had built across the street. So that was it back then. And right here is the brook that it says on another placard that they used to baptize the Mormons in this brook. at this historic site in Kirtland, Ohio.